All right, my name is Sue, I'm from Chicago. I grew up with five awesome sisters, two amazing brothers. My courageous parents were living their Catholic faith, trusting God, and contributing to the baby boom of the 50s and 60s. Birth control was not discussed. How babies are conceived was also not discussed. I thought chastity was practiced only in the Middle Ages, and virginity was something for a modern woman to overcome. It's time to hear the truth. Chastity is cool, and it's 100% natural. No artificial chemicals required. Chastity is living with our sexual desires rightly directed and puts the good of the other ahead of one's own desire. Chastity constitutes true freedom and joy. Casual sex, on the other hand, is not cool. Birth control is always served alongside casual, casual sex because you are prepared and you're smart. Take the unnatural chemicals and be safe. Look it up, birth control is not good for you and not good for the environment. Since the introduction of the pill, there's been an explosion of women's diseases and health problems never experienced before in the history of medicine. And how effective is birth control? 54% of women who have had abortions had used, have used a contraceptive method, usually the condom or the pill, during the month they became pregnant. At 21 years old, I fell for the lies of the late 70s dating scene. I didn't understand God's sacred plan for the marital act, and faced with an unplanned pregnancy, I saw abortion as the quick solution. Pregnancy was not my plan. I stand silent no more with these men, courageous men and women, who speak with, from personal regret that will never go away. Horror, shock, fear, loneliness, and shame. The abortion clinic was not a calm place to be. We were frantic and scared. I hid my eyes from the other patients, and they hid their eyes from me. My tragic decision led to a loss of self-respect, a loss of faith. In my confusion and despair, I would return for two more abortions. Fast forward, after 25 years suppressing emotions, I was encouraged by a friend to take advantage of divine mercy. In the Catholic Church, this is a powerful feast to receive forgiveness. In short, Jesus gave us this feast as both a comfort and a lifeline for souls through the sacrament of reconciliation. And now for the first time in over 25 years, I was capable of receiving Christ's mercy and love. Our Lord Jesus wants to pardon completely even the worst sinners possible. Remember, Jesus has come for sinners, not for the righteous. Don't consider yourself as without hope. Being absolved of my sins healed me and saved my marriage, my life, my family. I have two beautiful children. I have become active in pro-life work and chastity education in parishes. I pray at a late-term abortion mill, and I ask the Holy Spirit for the courage to help women. I say, do not be afraid. Your baby is a precious gift from God. Trust in God's perfect plan for your life, and may God bless silent no more.